Hello, you all. You already know what we about to get into. We about to get into these messages and see what our Elohim would like us to know at this time. We got the lovers, the three of wands, the sun, and the four of swords. So there could be a um a couple or some there's there's a couple that travel. There's a couple that travel somewhere here. Possibly for some healing. There's a couple that travel somewhere for some healing and some protection with the four swords. Healing and protection. So it could be like one of them, you know how they be having like one of them healing retreats and stuff? We got the death. Mm. These people could have got some trying to get some type of healing for something that Yeah, they got disappointed. Possibly try to get some sort of healing for something that they may actually end up passing with. It could be some type of terminal disease, whether it's like some type of disease or or maybe like a STD. It's it's something. So they went to go get some sort of spiritual guidance. They decided to travel here. Yeah, so there, there's some lovers here that, yeah, they definitely tried to go get some healing and some protection. But it didn't end well. It's it's not going to transform anything. They thought that it would transform them somehow. And they're disappointed. This Queen of Wands and this King of Cups. They went to go get some spiritual guidance here to heal whatever they got going on and to try to protect themselves from something. But with this person coming out as the king, the, the queen of wands and this person coming out as the king of cups, there, these people are not, even with the lovers coming out, these are sexual lovers or partners. This person decided to, this person decided to walk away from their divine feminine, a chosen one. <laughs> and they end up getting some type of illness. from a whore <laughs> now this person disappointed and dissatisfied and these people then went to go or they could have traveled together but somebody traveled to try to get some sort of healing <laughs> and some divine guidance but this is a person that walked away from their divine feminine and they walk right into some bullshit now, I'm not saying this person just got this disease because they walked away from their divine feminine. You know it's some extra. Because also, what the hell was they trying to protect themselves from? These people could have been trying to protect themselves from death, too. From dying. Because they probably did some bullshit. But we gonna see. What was these people trying to protect themselves from? Death, but Why? I, t I knew it. I knew it. These people did something cruel and did something underhanded. So they trying to protect themselves from the devil because they probably tried to make some sort of offering on somebody and they got to pay the devil here. Yep. They made an offering to the devil. 
Knight of Cups. And now, here's the karma. Here's the, you know, here's the karma. The karma is coming. So they're trying to protect themselves from that karma of dying because they made an offering against somebody. And then they tried to go and try to heal whatever fucking disease these motherfuckers got. And this is a man who walked away from his divine feminine to deal with a whore. And the motherfucker ended up getting sick. And I bet y'all that this motherfucker tried to offer up this divine feminine to the devil for a fucking whore. So these people is sick. Mm, mm, mm. I knew it was something. I was sensing that and it came right on out. These people tried to offer something up to try to change somebody's destiny. Because this person wanted to fuck with a low vibrational devil whore. So they tried to change something within somebody's destiny. Oh, y'all know. Y'all ain't protecting yourselves from shit. Whatever disease y'all got, y'all gonna die with it. And whatever y'all offered up, there's going to be shit dropping in y'all motherfuckers. Whatever y'all offered up or whatever y'all did with the devil, that shit going to that, that shit gonna happen to y'all. The tables is going to turn with this will of fortune. These people going to have obstacles to overcome because they trapped in this shit. Eight of swords. They trapped in this shit. And these people could have even been doing something physical too as well because these people might end up going to jail and get locked up. Y'all karma is y'all karma. I don't know what the... What? What? These people tried to change somebody's destiny and they success. And then tried to make it seem like they was crazy and trying to trap them off. But these people ultimately betrayed this person. And the reason why these people get this type of karma like this... And it ain't no motherfucking protection because they, they did the ultimate. This was the ultimate betrayal. Y'all ain't getting protected from this because y'all betrayed somebody that was innocent here with this food energy. And it could have been somebody that y'all was celebrating with and socializing with somebody that looked at y'all as a friend or somebody to kick it with or socialize with. And they loved y'all ace of cups and y'all when y'all took action against them and their divine abundance. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Y'all kept trying to communicate ongoing battles for this person. Y'all wanted bullshit to be fulfilled on this person with the nine of uh, cups in the in the corner. Y'all tried to go against this person and they divine abundance. And this is somebody who had the ace of cups for y'all two raggedy motherfuckers. So y'all could have even been this person, a friend or somebody that they socialized or celebrated with. And y'all did them like that. And... They was pure of heart and innocent. And y'all wanted to betray them like that. So now guess what? The ten of swords is falling right up under the devil. The devil about to betray you motherfuckers. And about to mop the floor with you motherfuckers. I don't feel sorry for these two bitches. I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> not sorry, y'all. I do not feel sorry for these two bitches. Excuse my French. Now the devil about to betray y'all. Y'all about to be in a ten of swords with the devil. Yeah. And the devil going to eat. The devil coming to collect. And y'all going to be in the ten of swords. Now how y'all like that? Because y'all finna be trapped in all kinds of shit. I see jail. I see illness. I see something spreading through somebody's body. And then y'all made these offerings. So whatever y'all was offering up. Y'all got to pay the piper. You two motherfuckers is going to suffer real bad. Dead end. See, y'all didn't know that whatever y'all was doing, y'all thought that y'all was going to have success in some sort of lead way, but y'all didn't see that it was a trap. Eight of swords and then to the ten of swords. Y'all didn't see that y'all was at a dead end. So I don't know who the fuck y'all is, but y'all fucked. <laughs> y'all is fucked. 
And that's the only thing that y'all y'all don't believe nothing else. Believe y'all together. Y'all are fucked. That's what the fuck y'all can believe. Is these multiple um lover situations? Nope. So, what's the element of this Queen of Wands? Is this Queen of Wands a fire sign? Nope. Are they an air sign? No. Are they a water sign? Nope. This Queen of Wands is an earth sign. At, um, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Is this King of Cups uh, um, a water sign? Yep, this King of Cups is a water sign. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Do we need to know the uh, the signs of these people? So what is this Queen of Wands? Is this Queen of Wands a Capricorn? No. Taurus? No. Virgo. This, this Queen of Wands is a Virgo. What is this, um, what is this King of Cups? Is this King of Cups of Cancer? No. Scorpio? No. This King of Cups is a Pisces. Yep. Are these these people's sun signs? Yep. And look, the death falling right up under the hermit. It looked like the Virgo, pro the Virgo probably gonna die. And then whatever decisions y'all made, say y'all say y'all went to a high priestess to help y'all. They ass is walking away. And or this person's divine feminine decided to walk away. Y'all trapped in this shit. Oh, that's crazy. That's crazy work right there. Is there anything is there anything um else we need to know about this? No. So we're gonna pull a grateful heart message because it's always something to be grateful for because whatever offerings these people was making, that shit is backfiring on them in multiple ways. I mean multiple ways. These people go. They trapped in whatever they were trying to do to another person. And especially if this man was trying to do this to his divine feminine. Oh. Mm, mm, mm. The devil about to drag y'all asses. The devil definitely gonna eat. Please believe that. If you don't believe nothing else. So we have here, joy runs deeper than despair. Thanks be to Yahweh who always leads us in triumphal procession. And Yahshua and through us spreads everywhere the fragrance of the knowledge of him. Yahweh is my light and salvation. Whom shall I fear? Yahweh is the stronghold of my life. Whom shall I be afraid? Yahweh's love and kindness will shine upon us like the sun that rises in the sky. All angels shall encore in awe before the glory in awe before Yahweh's visible power. Yahweh is good to all. And his tender mercies are over all his works. Yahweh keeps an eye on his friends and his ears pick up every moan and groan. May integrity and uprightness preserve me far away for you. So I hope you all got a message from this read that will help you along your journey. Know that Yahweh loves you. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you all later. Peace.